The other thing we're going to do is people on fixed incomes in Maine, if they have a little nest egg, they usually leave Maine for at least six months in a day. And they go to a warmer climate, for the most part. Some don't, some just go to New Hampshire. I have one gentleman who told me, and I'm not going to say his name because you'd all recognize him. Very, very, and it's not Stephen King. <laughs> who told me, I'm in Florida this winter. We just bought a beautiful home in the southern part of Florida. But I'm going to wait until the legislature goes home for the season to see if I become a resident of Florida or I come home as a resident of Maine. Does anybody here know who brought the income tax to the state of Maine? Anyone? Well, it was Governor Ken Curtis. Where's Governor Ken Curtis today? He's retired in Florida. Now I'm hedging my bet. I have a house in Florida. Well, I should say I have a house. My wife has a house. And my wife has a house in Maine. I have no assets. I'm a smart man, right? <laughs> I have a house in Florida, a house in Maine. If my bill passes, I can sell a house in Florida. If my budget doesn't pass, I can sell a house in Maine. Because that's what it's all about. And each and every one of you here may not say that, but if you have resources and you're going to be on a fixed income someday, you're going to want to protect them.